Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll implement an application using AngularJS and uh, Google ReCAPTCHA. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. Go to the AngularJS section. Previously we had done a tutorial uh, remove, removing the hash from AngularJS URL. So download this source code from here. This is going to be uh, the starting point for this tutorial. Uh, import this project in Eclipse. It is a Maven project. So in this project, uh, we are having different links and which navigate to different pages so this project we can use it as a starting point for implementing google recapture so go to the angular js section again and here we have another tutorial use google recapture with angular js so this is the tutorial that we are going to use for implementing google recapture the implementation part it is divided into uh, three parts first is registration of domain for google recapture Second is the client-side implementation and the third is the server-side implementation. The client-side is obviously the AngularJS. Server-side I have implemented it using Java and Spring which we will see later on. So let's begin with the first part, registration of domain for Google recapture. For implementing Google recapture, we require the domain name for the website for which uh, we are going to implement the recapture. If we have the domain name, then after registration, Google will provide us with public and private keys, which will be used for the implementation part of Google Recapture. So go to this link here. You click on Get Recapture. Sign in with your credentials. Once you have entered your Google credentials, you will be redirected to this page. So I have already registered my website javanews.com. If you have not uh, registered your site, enter any label here, enter the domain name and click on register. After registration you will get details similar to these. So this was the information that you had specified earlier. This is where we get information about the keys. So once you select the keys. So you'll get two keys. One will be the site key and the other will be the secret key. So the site key is used in our Angular JS part that is in the client side part. Whereas the secret key is used in the server side part. We'll take a look at how to use these keys but then you will require the site key and the secret key. After registration of domain for Google recapture, now that we have got the public and private keys, next we'll begin with the client side implementation. So this was the project that we are going to use as a starting point. We don't require the templates folder. We are just going to use the index.html. And also we'll create a project like this. So in the inside the scripts we'll move the all the script files. So just in the main web app create another folder named as scripts so I'll move this in scripts so other than the angular js angular mid dot min dot js angular out dot min dot js and script dot js currently just add one more script file to this and that will be google angular hyphen recaptcha dot min dot js because we have to implement the angular recapture so we'll require this next we'll modify the index dot html so in our index dot html we'll be creating a simple form with the labels as name and password and also we'll be having a submit button for recapture we'll have to add uh, two elements one will be the script uh, that we have to add here and the other will be the uh, div tag with VC recapture and also here we'll be using the public key uh, that we had got from the first step so copy this
बी केयरफुल यर यू विल हैव टू एंटर योर ओन पब्लिक की दैट यू गेट फ्रॉम गूगल नेक्स्ट गो टू द स्क्रिप्ट डॉट जे एस सो इन द स्क्रिप्ट डॉट जे एस कॉपी दिस वी वोट बी रिक्वायरिंग द एन जी राउट इन करेंटली वी वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी नेविगेशन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल सो पेस्ट इट विद दिस वी ओनली रिक्वायर द वी सी रिकैप्चर विच वी गेट इट फ्रॉम एंगुलर हाइफन रिकैप्चर डॉट मेन डॉट जे एस सो नाउ लेट्स बिल्ड अ प्रोजेक्ट run maven install and we'll deploy and see we should be able to see the google recaptcha on a index.html page we'll deploy this one tomcat So currently, as you can see, we can see recaptcha here. We are seeing this local is not in the list of supported domains for this website. So this is a common error that we get here. So for this, what we'll have to do is instead of local host, we'll have to use one two seven zero dot zero dot one. So go here and instead of local host, just put here. Yes, yeah, so we can successfully see recaptcha. Yeah, you can say like this. So we are able to see recaptcha uh, on the UI side. In the next tutorial of mine, we'll implement the remaining part. That is, we'll have to we'll first uh, whatever the user selects, we'll show that in the alert if the recaptcha is uh, is selected uh, properly, and also we'll write Java code to. verify if uh, the user has selected the recaptcha correctly the source code of this project uh, you can download the complete source uh, source code from here so i'll continue with this uh, angular js recaptcha in one of my other videos thank you